Hello and greetings, welcome to the best place for Kevin Costner. Would have been the best place anyway. This is a very very big update because they changed a lot of things. They added things like loot respawning, complete key binding, claiming island feature, plus some new weapons. Now let's go for all of the feature. So the loot respawning feature is pretty simple. It says it's 10% for all locations every 10 days. So I'm not sure what that means. I'll just assume that it means every 10 days. You might get another container or you might get one of those crates that have that has a blueprint because I'm missing a lot of blueprints. I'm missing 9 blueprints in total. So definitely this will be the best way to do it. I guess you just have to sit on your own island, maybe sleep 20 days and then go out exploring again. The island claiming feature. You can place a flag on an island but you also need to kill the enemies first. Manual save button. That's great. And they added three new guns, one pistol, one SMG, and one assault rifle. Hmm, let's look at that. Save game. Awesome. What about that flag? I'll assume it's under building. Maybe here. Let's see where it is. No, where can it be? Probably home. Will it not be under light? also played a lot more of the game, so I'm pretty much done with all of the content. Now I just have to make my base more interesting. Maybe it only appears when you're on that specific island. Oh no, here it is. Marker flag. In the bed icon. Place it to mark location. Hmm, interesting. So, is it to claim it or to mark it? Because I guess you can simply mark it as the place with a lot of wood or just say wood, say iron and so on. Nice. So, we'll visit the locations. We'll do a lot of things today. We have two low level raft type settlements and one large empty island. Well, it does look empty and it does look large. They also added the features that allow you to hold the left mouse button to swing melee weapons constantly, nice. The red dot is for the hunting rifle and the stun SMG now. Added option to hide UI in the escape menu, interesting. Added global UI for sleeping, how does this mean? Hmm. Anyway, easier fishing, well I guess nobody really uses fishing, some people use the fishing nets, not me. I just make, just eat what I found. And also increase the scrap size to 15. That's an amazing change. I think the scrap size should be 20. You need probably thousands of scrap, and I'm not joking. You need thousands of, thousands of scrap to set up your base. Even as a solo player, you need 1000 scrap or more. Can you imagine how it is for multiplayer? Crafting station no longer keep working while in the escape menu. Oh, interesting. Something with a message when hitting a bush. With a spear, many chests have the interaction points increased. Okay, that's better. Cannot plant cabbage issue has been fixed. Stove one return empty bottles has been fixed. Health bar shows the max amount of health by its length. Interesting. Checks can now hit the player as intended. Wait, they couldn't hit us before. Well, I guess they couldn't hit us because they were getting kind of stuck or you could avoid them. Fallen damage. Falling damage and poison damage will damage the armor now. Have poison damage? Interesting. Oh yeah, this is a cool feature as well. As you can see, we, I have been waiting over here because it's kind of like a cool place right now. And I'm making it even cooler. I guess we just have to go. Now, I don't remember the AK having the red dot on it. I think it's okay. But I also think... Yeah, it's not aligned. So, let's not take it with us. The red dot has been a constant problem for the game. Okay, let's get ready for our little adventure. Drinking the water. Okay, maxed out. And I have the lemon seeds with me. So I basically changed my base over here. I still have to do some work on it, but it's kind of boring. I'm happy we have this update now. As I can finally go out and do something else. Uh, I also have all of the stuff here. I also have the helicopter. It's kind of hard to use anyway. I don't like it. 
Well, we have arrived at a floating refugee. They don't seem very happy to see me. How, how is their accuracy these days? It's very good. Why? Why did you... Okay. Okay, note to self. Bring the... Yeah, bring the rifle next time. The bolt action rifle. Hmm, I think that's all of them. This is, by the way, on the hardest difficulty, if I remember correctly, yes. So let's see what loot we have over here. Probably in the cabin. No, there's nothing. Very interesting look. Yeah, I guess the saw rifle is still not really that good. I feel like the pistol is much better. Seems to be... Oh. Seems to be another problem of the game where basically everything that is full auto is not really that, that good. Where are you guys? Yeah, so I guess this is more or less like a starting location. Hey, I would say this is a starting location. It's not very hard at all. Hey, what? Since when can you get the red algae as a drop? That's actually amazing. So yeah, I think this is not that bad. Hey, the game likes to scare me, so let's see what other loot we can find over here. Man, that axe is huge. Oh, so this is supposed to be a moving thing, but how do you power those? I guess you just push them. <laughs> Muscle power. And this is for the mutants. Yeah, nice floating skills. Yeah, definitely this is a, supposed to be one of those locations <laughs> where you where you come over here in the first hour of your game. Usually there is some robber over here, but overall it's it's basically no loot around here. Rubber. A lot of wood. That safe was nice, but eh, not much else. Why do you have a desk in there? I guess that's their office. Step into my office. Let's, let's negotiate the terms of your head bashing. <laughs> Something like that anyway. Yeah, that, that's basically the entire location. They're a lot stronger because they have some guns as well. So I guess don't go through the front. You'll be shot by a lot of stuff. Okay. What was shooting me? I guess they have the stronger unit somewhere hidden. Okay, he was over here. You might have the strongest armor in the game. Could have been in instant death almost. Ok, 
Okay, they're over there and there are there is a lot of them. So let's say this is a mid-game location. Definitely don't come here in the beginning. Ah, that would have been a great area to attack from. How do I even engage this? I guess with patience. That's the homemade revolver. I think that's 60 damage. Could die here. This is a bit of a tricky situation. Oh yeah, okay. The, their excellent marksmanship skills are back. I guess we're just waiting for our HP to regenerate. It regenerates so slowly. Why are we stuck here like this? Let's just go and attack. Well, that was panic shooting. That guy is only there to serve as a distraction, I hate it. Okay, we'll wait a little bit here. How are they so strong? I completely forgot about this little aspect of the game. If you cannot shoot the enemy, well, double bed, single bed respawn. I forgot this is the max difficulty of the game world. I wanted to make it a little more interesting for the video, but apparently from now on only long range sniping with the bolt action rifle because that was annoying. It's really hard to. It's really hard to attack them from a position like this, so from now on we'll only do long range sniping from the boat, from the jet ski with a bolt action rifle from all the way there or something like that. Yeah, these guys are so strong. Well, not exactly strong, they can just aim very good for your head. Huh. I guess there's no way you can do this in the beginning of the game if you have any difficulty to the game. That was crazy hard. I guess the challenge is good here and there, but that was a bit exaggerated. Sneakers and uh, the usual stuff. Hmm, I guess it's good for my collection. I have a lot of food at home. Where is the pistol wielding maniac? Yeah, bolt rifle is the best. Cheating literally. Oh, I forgot about this aspect of the game. I'm kind of 
coming up, don't shoot me. Oh, that scared me. Well, we're going back again. Get back here. And I guess I should use the AK. Wait. My loot. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of World War One artillery ammunition. Now, okay, so what am I saying? Just a lot of black powder ammunition. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty hard if you haven't, if you didn't fight in a while and you are attacking them head on like this. That's new, I don't have this one. I think I have this one. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, I don't think I'll need a fish or one single piece of wood. Let's see the strawberries, drop the seeds. Useless to me. Perfect. Only hurts a little bit. <laughs> not bad, I have to say, not bad. Nothing over there. So I guess that's the entire location. Yeah, I guess it has this crate over here, which is interesting loot because you can get blueprints and other stuff. Oh, safe. Work gloves, candlestick. Oh. I have to say, I'm not really enjoying the loot, but I'm enjoying the action of, of the game again because I haven't played. I haven't. I think I didn't fight anyone for about 15 hours, so I've just been farming for 15 hours. So I'm a bit rusty with my combat. I definitely don't ever engage them at close range. That's why I've been using the rifle all of all of the game, the entire game almost. And for the last location, the White Cliff Island. It's actually very nice. A bit empty, but I guess that's the whole point of it. It's big and empty. So I assume this is the place you really, really want to build a lot of stuff. I mean, some people might want a huge castle if this is the place for you. Because you will be building a huge castle on the cliffs. Any resources? Anything at all? Nah. What is this? I guess that's there just to annoy you. Not even a lot of wood. Very weird map. I guess you come here to contemplate what you have done. Well, at least it has some cotton. Not like we needed it. Oh. Lemon tree. Okay, that makes it up. So I guess you can find a, a few lemon trees around here and some cotton. Some trees as well if you need more wood. You always need more wood. Anything over here? Nope. I'm mainly searching for iron or copper, but I guess they're not on the island itself. Maybe near it in the water. Let's check. Nothing. <laughs> totally devoid of resources. Ah, that was a good warm up for the game. I haven't, haven't died in this game for a very long time. I should probably just take a few lemons, not the entire tree. Maybe it will. Eh, well. Yes, that doesn't work. <laughs> We're almost at the highest point of the island.
Yeah, this would definitely be a nice building location, but it, it could get a bit annoying because if you are going to get attack in this area, I, it feels like the enemies will be very, very buggy. On the other hand, it really feels like the enemies can only come from the beaches, so probably from there. And that's about it. Yeah. It would be an interesting location to build on, but it's so far away and isolated for the rest that it's not really worth it. Yeah, your starting, your starting island is the best to build just because of the extreme amounts of iron you need. A lot of scrap, a lot of iron, a lot of wood. This thing usually have just some food. Midaki? Is this new? I never remember. I don't remember seeing this. Uh, probably just a very, very rare <laughs> loot. <laughs> you have a rubber duck and the gummy ducky. Okay. The gummy ducky will stay over here. This is this is just precious to eat. Easy now. I, come on. Okay, don't move. Yeah, really nice update. Uh, well, yes, we're going to jump down. I hope we hit the water. What? No. Ouch. Uh, well, we eventually hit the water. Is there anything over here? I think we have hit the edge of the map. Yeah, this is the edge of the map. If we go any further in that direction, I don't know. A huge sea monster might attack us and eat us. Just like in Subnautica, going to the edge. Where all of the monsters are, it's a bad idea. Well, at least for my map, this is the edge. But there's nothing in the water, nothing at all, not even a single car wreck. I was hoping of finding some red algae around here, but nope. Okay, that's everything I wanted to show today. Bye-bye. <laughs>